Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's come round to that time of the month again. This is episode two of my upcoming sneakers. So basically each month I do a video on what is upcoming in the next month. Um, so we had October's and now we've got November's. October was such a good month for sneaker releases. I feel like there were so many good ones. Um, personally, I was only able to literally get, I think I only got a couple at the beginning of the month. And then after that, it literally went downhill and I couldn't pick up a single pair of trainers. Um, but you know how it goes. We're gonna try again this month. So today's video is gonna be some of the selected sneakers that I've chosen um, that are upcoming in the month of November. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure you're subscribed to stay updated with my videos. And yeah, let's get cracking. So first of all, we have the black and white retro dunks. And these are actually restocked because they came out quite a while ago on Nike and even on other companies, I keep seeing them restocking. And um, so I do think there is like a large quantity circulating in them, which is a good thing if you are trying to pick these up again. And personally for me, the high tops, I don't actually really like. I feel like they look a bit cheap. Um, but the low tops I absolutely love. I have a pair of these myself. I feel like they're black and white at the end of the day. Like you can't really go wrong. They go with so much stuff. Um, so yeah, if you are trying to, you know, pick these up, I feel like it will kind of be easy to get your hands on these. Next of all is probably my favorite shoe in this whole video. Um, this Air Force One just looks so cold, like so icy. Um, it is made up of suede as well, which I absolutely love. It just looks premium. I mean, it is premium. It just looks so good. I did actually see that SNS are actually selling these. So I feel like they are kind of easy to get your hands on. Um, I feel like they may be like a bit of an underrated Air Force One. Um, but personally for me, I would definitely be trying to get these because I absolutely love them. Then we have the Nike Air Max Terrascape Pluses. I feel like if you like Nike Air Max Pluses, then this shoe is for you. And um, I do actually quite like the layering. Underneath it does look like a Nike React. Um, these I'm not so sure about. I feel like I need to see them in hand. But as I said, I feel like if you like this kind of vibe of shoe, then this would definitely be for you. Next, we have the Air Force One Fontana car. I do not know if I'm pronouncing that right. And um, this is actually a women's Air Force One and it's also a US release, um, which is so sad because I'm from England, so I won't be able to get my hands on this. But I'm hoping that, you know, slowly over time that these will drip through to England. This colorway is called Have a Good Game. Obviously game inspired. I absolutely love like the vinyl overlays, the transparent overlays, and it actually does glow in the dark as well. I wish I could get my hands on this shoe because I feel like this is a massive cost. This shoe, I feel like, is the coolest Air Force One that I've seen. So next we have some Nike Dunk Lows. Now what is interesting about these Nike Dunk Lows, apparently the upper is made out of part recycled material. Um, so this is all about, you know, like Nike's move to zero movement and sustainability, which is pretty cool to be honest. Um, these colorways are cold. I feel like Nike Dunk Lows, like literally, Nike are producing them like there is no tomorrow um so we've got this white color which is absolutely clean and then we have this pale coral color and they are actually really similar to the orange pearls but these two colorways are definitely definitely nice so i would definitely cop these as well and then we have the air max one pasta collaboration so the previous colorway came out literally a couple weeks ago the orange pair the monarch pair and they are literally such a stunning shoe and i wasn't able to get it and i'm so sad about that but hopefully i can pick up these and um, these will obviously drop on sneakers. I feel like these are something that a lot of people want. And um, so they are pretty exclusive. The quality on these from what I've seen from photos is just literally insane. And this blue, this aqua blue is just so, so beautiful. And um, so yeah, I'm hoping that I can pick these up. This is a bit of a crazy shoe. So we've got another collaboration. We've got the Comme de Gassan um, and the Foam Posit shoe. This shoe literally reminds me of, I don't know why it reminds me of, um, the film saw the little smile the joke the little clown thing if you know what i'm talking about i don't know why this shoe is a bit crazy i can't lie it probably is really really comfortable because of the material but i just i don't really rock with this shoe and the price of this shoe why is it so expensive like i don't understand but yeah this shoe is crazy and this shoe for me is a massive drop this price alone is just a no so next nike have this like toasty kind of line so we've got some air force ones 
We've got some dunks. They did also do blazers, but I really didn't like the blazers, so I didn't put them in this video. Um, they're kind of made up of like, it looks like sleeping bag, like quilted material, like puffer jacket material. Um, and that's what kind of the vibe is, is like cozy, wintry, and that is why they're called Toasty. Um, I wasn't actually very keen on them until I saw the inside of the Air Force Ones. Look at this. They look so, so toasty, like so comfy. I feel like these are like a perfect winter shoe. Some of the colorways though, I'm not really feeling like, I feel like there's just a bit too much of the colors going on. Some of the more subtle colorways like the Nature Brown, I think are okay. And with other colorways, I feel like I'm just doing a bit too much, but I am just really, really curious about putting my foot into one of these because I feel like it will actually be so comfy and so warm. Um, so I would be interested just to see them in hand, but in terms of the colorway, I'm not really sure to be honest. Yeezy 500s, one of my favorite silhouettes so this was actually my previous video but for whatever reason they got rescheduled this is like a massive cop for me like i absolutely love a yeezy 500 um and this shade of color is amazing so perfect for like autumn winter vibes and then of course we have another dunk and um, this is actually only a us drop and um, so this is the night gundam sb dunk do you know what at first when i first saw it on the normal picture i was like mm, i think nike are doing like a bit too much and um, but then i saw it on foot and i actually really like it so for me this is definitely a massive cop and then we've got the sack eyes i feel like everyone has been waiting forever for these we finally have a day because they kept getting pushed back and um, so we've got the black on a white pair i feel like everyone in the world and their mum and their auntie and their uncle want a pair of these and um, so i feel like these will be really hard to get definitely going to drop on sneakers um but i'm ready if i could just get any of these shoes it would be these and the air force ones to be honest I feel like recently we haven't seen too many jordan ones so i was super happy to see this pair this colorway is insane it's like a nice wine color it's got metallic silver accents um, and obviously with the white i feel like the color combination is just bang this is a massive massive cop and um, this will probably be on sneakers then we have the jordan 3 and the camo these are a bit like mm, i don't hate them but i don't love them i feel like they're just pretty average and um, i couldn't actually find any more pictures than this picture so i would be interested to see what they look like on feet but yeah for me i'm not really too fussed about these i feel like this camo color is just it's just not doing it for me and we have the jordan 2 low and off-white collaboration i absolutely love that it is a jordan 2 low I feel like it's something different. It gets a little bit boring after a while, of like Jordan 4, Jordan 1s, all the popular ones. I absolutely love that it is a Jordan 2. It looks so different, like the shoe stands out. And because it is an off white, I feel like a lot of people are going to jump on this just purely because it is an off white. And for me personally, I feel like the white pair is just so, so beautiful. Um, not as keen on the black pair, but for me, the white pair is a massive cop. Um, but yeah, as I said, I feel like this will probably be really hard to get your hands off because it is an off white collaboration. So that is my November upcoming releases. Remember that there are other sneakers releasing, but these are the ones that I have just chosen today for today's video. Another thing to bear in mind as well is that sometimes the dates change, um, but usually they kind of are within the same month, um, unless they get pushed back for some whatever unknown reason. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below what shoes you were hoping to pick up. Um, and then we will reconnect again in next month when we go through December's upcoming sneakers. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys next time.